In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 9. What it means to decide for the light. Friend, is forgiveness about focusing on the light? Or is it a process of looking at the negative and see it for what it is? Nothing. David When you join with the light, the whole purpose is to look at the false and look past it. To forgive or overlook, that is really where the two come together. In a sense, They are one and the same. Jesus says things like, Take my hand. Dear little child, we will go down and look at this dark stuff. These are the metaphors for joining with the light. It is not about just looking at the negative intellectually. Friend, What would you look at the negative with? You look with the light. How would you be able to look at it if it were not with the light? One decision seems to be to just turn to the light and one decision seems to be turning to the light with my individual intellect. David Let's come back to the metaphysics in this way. We are making a decision to decide with the Holy Spirit or the ego every instant. Those are our only two options and there are not any other. It seems like there is a me that can just make a decision without the Holy Spirit or the ego. But that is not the case. Jesus is very clear about that in the Rules for Decision section in chapter 30. Your range is limited. You are choosing for one or the other. Every decision that you make brings you everything or nothing. Even though it does not seem that way, it seems like there is a lot of grey area in between. Like you are just floating along saying, well, I will do this today or I will do that. It seems like you can decide to have a brownie But the whole point is that at the very bottom of the dungeon is the ego and the Holy Spirit way down in the mind. And remember, a decision is a conclusion based on everything you believe. It is the Holy Spirit or the ego. They are your only two options. What happens with all the layers of false beliefs? The decision is made way down here in the basement and then it comes out on the surface. I believe I am subject to space and time. I believe in bodies. I believe I am a man. I believe I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I believe I have a cat. I believe I am low on money. I believe it is Thursday. I believe it is 12.30 and... Friend. And I believe I have to have a brownie! (laughs) David, I have to have a brownie. 
You see how it goes? No, 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 no. You are making a decision from the ego or the Holy Spirit and that is the way it comes out on the surface. Now you have my attention, Jesus. I will not value what is valueless. Workbook Lesson 133 Everything you decide upon brings you everything or nothing. In that lesson, 133, he gives you criteria you need to learn that will help you distinguish between what is valuable and what is valueless. This is getting pretty practical. He says that when you choose anything, unless it is eternal, it brings you nothing. Friend, Oh, my goodness. David. Yes. First, if you choose a thing that will not last forever, what you chose is valueless. A temporary value is without all value. Time can never take away a value that is real. What fades and dies was never there and makes no offering to him who chooses it. Workbook Lesson 133 And this is the first criteria. This is the first one. This is not number five or six. Then you read on and see there is something to this. All idols... All specialness and all those layers and stacks in between that mind, that the mind invests in, that is where the guilt comes from. A clear mind has gone down through all the layers and levels. Jesus has transcended the ego and can see that the ego offers nothing not on floor 23 or 22, not in the closet, nothing. There is nothing there that is valuable. Then you can see the choice for what it is. This is no choice. When you can get to the bottom, then you can see that this is no choice at all. The atonement is basically accepting a decision that has already been made. The Holy Spirit is really the only decision. There is no deprivation involved in that. But until you get to the bottom, oh boy, does it seem like sacrifice. Because I want what is on floor 23 and floor 9 down that hall and in room 7 that one I call it the coral here you go Jesus you can have all those but not these over here friend but that is why it is a process David it is a process until you start to generalize or transfer the training. We always talk about the main switch. The Course says, in one instant you can choose. Perhaps today. There comes a point where you get so good at recognizing backward thoughts. You get so good at realizing that the sun is not making me hot. And that person did not make me angry. Friend. But you do not begin there. David. No, you do not start there at all. In fact, when you are teaching a class with newcomers, you do not even get into that because you do not want to get into hypotheticals. 
That is why we are here now. We are here to go in as deeply as we can. Even with some of the ideas we discussed, you may think, maybe some of these are true, but I still have my reservations. It is like we are throwing out lots of seeds. It is not saying everyone has to take these seeds and everyone has to go home and plant them. Friend, no one is guilty for not gathering up the seeds. David, just throwing out the seeds is the joy of it. <laughs>